Texas Rebel Wilson's big win in court. The star clearing her name, winning the defamation case against a publisher for articles she claims were false and cost her major roles. ABC's Nick Watt is in L.A. with all the details. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, Michael. Well, in court, she rapped, she did impersonations, and she cried. Rebel Wilson claims a series of magazine articles painted her as a liar, damaged her reputation, and torpedoed her career. The heartbeat of the Pitch Perfect franchise took on an international media giant. He maliciously took me down in May 2015 with a series of grubby and completely false articles. She took the risk that suing would be the only way she could continue her career in Hollywood. And Rebel Wilson just won that defamation case. Just before, as I was sitting at the hotel, I ate a whole bag of chicken chips and a block of Cadbury <laughs> snack, so I'm feeling like a little gross. <laughs> I was stress eating, definitely. The eight Australian magazine articles, now ruled defamatory, alleged that the bridesmaid star lied about her age, claiming to be six years younger than the truth, lied about being called rebel at birth, made up tales of her childhood, and lied that she's distantly related to Walt Disney. It's very surreal to have to prove your own life in court and prove that it's all true. We had to find, you know, find the picture of me with malaria, find the picture of me in the cage with the leopard. Wilson claims the articles cost her work, including voice roles in Welcome Kung Fu Panda 3 and Trolls. What might she have been paid? That then becomes the damage calculation. Bauer Media's lawyers called the articles substantially true, trivial, and argued they did not impact Wilson's career. Let me teach you how to be single. Go, go. Wilson, most recently seen in How to Be Single, sat in court for three weeks, spent six days in the witness box, passing the time she claims fantasizing about fellow Aussie, Liam Hemsworth. Now, Wilson says she did this just to clear her name, and she used a good old-fashioned Australian expression to explain why she thinks those articles were written about her. Tall poppy syndrome. If someone gets too successful... People just want to cut them down to size. Michael. Ah. Wow, I like that. Tall we have some Australians singer. behind us. Yes, that, we do. Was that a phrase? Tall pop? Is that? Yes, that good? Okay. Well, they're yelling because we have more over there. They're in a group together. We split oh. them up <laughs> because there were just too many Aussies in one spot. We had to split them up. But thank you guys. <laughs> Coming all the way over here to come hang out with us this morning on GMN. Yeah. Nick Watt, thank you so much for that.